So let's look at tachometer and speedometer here for a minute. Uh, on the 73 Corvette and most Corvettes prior to 78 or so, these were all mechanical drive speedometers, which was not uncommon, and mechanical drive tachometers, which actually used a gear coming off to the, of the distributor. Uh, that's kind of a problem because I have neither of those remaining on the car. So essentially what I wanted to do is I know coming off of leg squirt unit, I have a 12 volt square wave signal. Essentially, that's a fairly common signal that's used in a lot of aftermarket tachometers. Uh, it's a fixed 12 volt, but the frequency varies with every ignition interaction. So uh, essentially when a coil fires, it changes the frequency. Um, I can find 12 volts positive, I can find ground and a speed signal I wanted. I wanted to output that to three servos, and I'll explain why we needed three here in a minute. Um, I decided on an Arduino. Um, this is a Nano Every, and essentially it can handle all of this fairly easily with a few caveats. So if we look here, we have a 12 volt square wave coming in that needs to be dropped down to five, and we have uh, Arduino needing 12 volts and the servos needing six volts. The reason why this can't handle 12 volts on the thing is it'll overload the little analog pins and it just needs to be under five volts in. Um, so I'm gonna run two circuits off of that, a standard 7806 uh, transistor and a voltage divider using two resistors. Um, the reason I'm doing that is that um, the, how a transistor works, it just can't handle the frequency very well um, of that coming in depending, uh, it can't switch back and forth fast enough to handle it. So, if we look at our wiring diagram here, essentially I have our 12 volt coming in, our ground signal coming in, and then a square wave coming in with my um, voltage divider and the 7806 powering the servos three servos running to an Arduino on these pins. Now, I'll go over servos in a second, but I wanted to show you the GPS module that I'm using. It's a standard um, eBay GPS module, but it's compatible with an external antenna so that, that I can run an external antenna to run it out onto uh, the car. So this is the factory unit. Uh, this is tachometer, this is speedometer, of course. This would have come from the distributor and this would have come from the transmission. I modified these in two ways. One, this is now one-to-one -one with the speedometer and it does not have the magnetic flywheel in there anymore so that I can control this with a servo. And then this, I took out the odometer gear that attaches to that, fixed the shaft again, and then modified this so when I turn this counterclockwise, I can power this with a servo and control the odometer. But it retains all the factory functions. So at this point, um, they get installed into the gauge cluster and then we can start powering them and we'll go through a test on that circuit board. So I built these base plates, which basically converts all of the factory um, stuff over to work with the servos and we'll build on that in just a moment but we also have to install the other one so you can see the guts of this in here it's just normal except for the part that i drilled out here the only modification to the back of the case is of course this hole right there still trying to find there we go make sure we are in the two pins on the back I'm just going to take my pliers, set it on there, and then bolt on the other base plate. It should do that. Bolt it right there. And then these are uh, number eight, I think, with 32 or 36 screws. Um, just a standard thread. Um, that one screws in just normal with no problem. The other one, because of the space constraints, actually requires a set screw. So these are actually decent hobby servos um, bolted to the bridge. You can see they're just screwed into the two pieces there. Um, and like I said, all these files are still a, are available on my website. So 
if you want them they are free I'm not gonna charge for those so then from here this one's marked B for the bottom take the cap gear and all this has and this one's they are side specific because this one's a little bit smaller than the other side um, this slides over there and there's a little point in there basically acts like the one end of the speedo cable like it would be there so slide that in from the bottom and it just has a little keeper ring on it and then other side goes on servo they press together make sure we get good movement out of it and then there's a guide ring on the bottom of that and there's of course it has the needle has to go in the bearing so both of them just kind of have to align snaps down like that and then it is four screws around the exterior of that brace holding it in of course the benefit of this is you can see you can still get to all of your lights and everything like that and if we flip this over um, not sure if we can see the servo in the motor but as you rotate the servo it rotates the the needle so attack is done let's work on speedometer so exact same scenario same bridge um, different cap on that it's just a little bit bigger ask Chevy on that one I don't know so on these uh, on this one basically the same um, except that this servo is a completely different servo it goes in that side and it gets the slightly bigger screws so this is just one uh, early part of the code that I'm writing for this this is actually just running the speedometer not even the odometer but uh, essentially what I'm doing is I'm taking the speed in from the GPS and exporting it out um, as a value between 0 and 160 and then mapping that to the degrees of the servo that I actually needed to move. Um, so at that point, uh, what I'm doing is then I can take that reading for, uh, for the odometer and then send it out as a pulse. Um, I have it set up to where being it is a continuous rotation servo, it's just going to pulse on and off, um, probably every hundred milliseconds or so and slowly move around. I'm not thrilled with that solution, but I'm still working on it a little bit at this point. Uh, and then tachometer is pretty straightforward. Um, I'm just going to take the frequency in from the square wave and do this exact same function and map it to the, uh, the, the servo out for the tachometer. So, as you can see, it works. Um, they actually move fairly well. Uh, I got a little bit of polishing to do on a few things, and the main thing is, is I want to um, clean up the gears a little bit. So I'm gonna actually run them in the drill uh, to get them broken in, just because it's coming off the 3D printer, they're a little bit rough. So run, get them running smooth and that'll help with that a lot. Other than that, they run pretty smooth, and the odometer, obviously, I got some coding to do. But, um, circuit board is looking pretty good. I'm probably going to add, just because the amount of load that's on this with the gears and everything, I'm probably going to add a second diode, or tr a second transistor, sorry, it's uh, 2.35 a.m. Uh, a second transistor uh, to break up the amperage draw on these, because while those are micro servos and they 
theoretically have a stall of about a half an amp. Um, that one, that one servo definitely will pull an amp at stall. So I just want to run that on its own uh, transistor. Other than that, uh, it's doing pretty good. If you found this interesting, let me know. This is a, definitely a little bit more of a technical video, and it probably isn't for everyone. Um, also, if anybody's interested in this or the CAD files for this and stuff like that, I'll have them linked down below. And the code will probably be up on, uh, I'll put it up somewhere in the next few days. So if you're interested in, in following this following this a little bit, uh, or building your own, let me know. Or if I get this polished out and you have a Corvette that you're looking for this for, let me know and uh, maybe I'll send one your way for testing and stuff like that. So yeah, thanks for watching. And let me know what else you guys want to see. The, there is more happening on the Corvette, I swear, but it's just uh, um, a little bit slow going. I've been focusing on this, and uh, it's been stuck at paint for a little bit. So trying to get it back and get a few other things done and go from there. Thanks for watching.